We've already talked about acute mountain sickness, AMS, mild forms of mountain sickness. But it's time to talk about more severe forms of mountain sickness, specifically high-altitude pulmonary edema, H-A-P-E, called HAPE, and high-altitude cerebral edema, or so-called HACE. Now, it turns out that HAPE is a lot more common than HACE, but we'll talk about both. Both occur, especially in really high places, and both can be life-threatening or lethal. In HAPE, high-altitude pulmonary edema, patients actually develop fluid that starts filling the air spaces of their lungs. And this causes a sequence of signs and symptoms that are very important to be able to recognize. When patients are developing fluid in their lungs, HAPE, what do they look like? Typically, these patients develop a whole host of symptoms. I think if you ask a doctor, they usually give you some high-level symptom. But I think from the standpoint of a guide or somebody in the field with these patients, the first thing I look for is somebody who's simply not doing well at altitude. So say you're used to climbing with Mary, and she's totally at the front of the group, and she's always the first one into camp, and she's feeling great. And then one night she doesn't show up at the tent where you're eating. And you could just say, oh, where's Mary? I guess she doesn't like us anymore. But what I would say is, huh, I'm going to go check on Mary and see how she's feeling. Because oftentimes it's the person who sort of drags into camp, nobody really pays attention to, they're back in their tent hanging out. I'm going to go ask Mary how she's doing. And that's going to go like this. Mary, how you doing? And she's going to say, fine. But at that point I'll say, hey, you're a little late in the camp. What's going on? And I'll start looking for other signs of high altitude pulmonary edema.